Ghouls and Ghosts in the arcade. It's actually the sequel to Ghosts and Goblins. For the first time, you could actually shoot upwards and downwards. They added some cool little twists in there by throwing vampires at you, werewolves and zombies, and all sorts of little creatures you hadn't really seen before. What makes the game cool is the fact that it's really hard. Really up until that point, not too many games really challenged you like Ghouls and Ghosts did. They managed to throw things at you that you hadn't seen before and do it without frustrating you, but just give you that elevator of difficulty to keep you on the edge of your seat. There's really a lot to like because its art style was really cool and its music was some of the best I'd ever heard up until that point. It felt like a, a bigger, better version of Ghosts and Goblins that really kind of pushed people towards the whole action platformer craze of the late 80s.